Good evening and welcome, dear friends, to evening prayer. <clears throat> and it's good to welcome our dear brother Liam. Sorry, my throat is hoarse. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's good to welcome you, my dear brother, and to those who've not logged in. Bless you all for at least being here. This evening, my heart is so full of gratitude for the brothers and sisters of our community, for those who've stayed the course, who've not turned away from the divine invitation from the beloved to give their life for global unity and interspiritual unity and to serve the one God, the God of many names. So I light this light to the Cosmic Christ and to all the great spiritual teachers, the Ascended Masters, the Angelic Realm, the Messengers of God, and to Francis and Claire of Assisi, thanking them for leading our brothers and sisters to this community of love. And though many have come and gone, there is still a core group who live that simple life from their monastery without walls. But I also remember those in training, Nancy in Mexico, dear brother Matthew, whom I Skype today and who is now with his mom who's dying in a hospice in Texas. And our hearts go out to him. To our dear sister Jane, and to those who've asked our prayers, we remember them. And not forgetting dear brother Brian and sister Jackie in Idaho. Lord, we thank you for the gift of friendship, but for the gift of genuine friends, for those who don't run away, but who carry the cross, the cross of disappointment, the cross where many challenges assail us each day, but together we unite here and we celebrate your love for us. Amen. <clears throat> and now we have our evening prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the Heavenly Father, Mother God, the Earthly Mother, and all the great masters, and reverence to the holy, pure, and saving teachings, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. And here I include my brothers and sisters in the Teo community, who soldier on regardless every day. And this Friday evening, we commune, bear with me a second, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <clears throat> we commune with the angel of the Heavenly Father, Mother God, saying, the Heavenly Father, Mother God, and I are one. This communion in time brings union with the eternal and boundless cosmic ocean of all superior radiations from all planets as cosmic consciousness is awakened and the individual is finally united with the supreme power, God himself, the God who has many names. Our prayers this evening are eclectic. They come from the heart and I'm guided to share various readings with you. But the first prayer we begin with this evening is from Mary Taylor, a patient in St. Thomas's Hospital in London. And she's quoting the prayer of Benedict, St. Benedict, who lived from 480 to 547. Gracious and Holy Father, Mother God, give us wisdom to perceive you, intelligence to understand you, diligence to seek you patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, hearts to meditate upon you, and life to proclaim you 
through the power of the Holy Spirit, of Jesus the Cosmic Christ, our Lord and Saviour, the Incarnate Son of God. Isn't that a beautiful prayer? Thank you, St. Benedict. And I was guided to read from John O'Donoghue a reflection that was chosen for us today after I spoke with dear brother Matthew. And the reflection is on entering death. His mom, Kathy, was a qualified nurse and she's given her life to caring for others. And now my prayer is that others will care for Kathy and welcome her home to our new home. I pray that you will have the blessing of being consoled and sure about your death. May you know in your soul there is no need to be afraid. When your time comes, may you have every blessing and strength that you need. May there be a beautiful welcome for you in the home you are going to. You are not going somewhere strange, merely back to the home you have never left. May you live with compassion and transfigure everything negative within and about you. When you come to die, may it be after a long life, may you be tranquil among those who care for you. May your going be sheltered and your welcome assured. May your soul smile in the embrace of your Anamkara. Wow. Your soul friend. Oh, wow. Those words are so worthy of Kathy. That's Matthew's mom as she prepares to return home. <clears throat> Our next reading is Peace is Psalms Now by Leslie Brandt. And this evening we pray Psalm 77. I cry to God in my desperation out of the dark corner of my stifling loneliness, I grope in vain for some solace and, or comfort. I try to think about God, to contemplate his many promises, but my heart is empty, my soul as dry as dust. I spend sleepless nights searching, waiting for God to speak to my need to give me strength in my conflict. I remember how he has responded to my prayers in times past, but I get nothing from him now. Nothing save the echoes of my own agonies streamed into empty heavens. I am reminded of his deeds and wonders of years past. He demonstrated his love in his concern for his people. His majesty and power are reflected in the great forces of nature about me. Then why doesn't he hear my pitiful pleadings? Why doesn't he fulfill his promises on my behalf? Good Lord, where are you? Let us just stay with those words from that psalm because I'm sure someone here who's joined us, maybe those words are for you. Let us celebrate and give thanks. prayers from the world's fates by Roger Granger and this evening I'm opening it 
and the theme is the legacy of deprivation. In Psalm 38, verse 8 of the Old Testament Bible, we read, I groan in anguish of heart. And from the Sikh guru Gobind Singh, we read, Look where you may, he pervades and prevails as love and affection. And then we read from the Jewish tradition, <clears throat> We pray for all mankind, though divided into nations and races, yet all men are your children, drawing from you their life and being commanded to obey your laws, cause hatred and strife to vanish, that abiding peace may fill the earth and humanity everywhere be blessed with the fruits of peace. And from the Baha'i faith, thy name is healing, O my God, and remembrance of thee is my remedy. beautiful words and from his holiness the Dalai Lama I'm opening his little book of wisdom just at random two kinds of anger anger I think can be of two types hatred with ill feeling is one while another anger with compassion as the basis of concern may be positive Keep anger in check. Usually people consider that anger is part of the mind and that it is better to show it, to let it come. I think that's the wrong conception. Resentment because of grievances may be let out because then it is finished. Constant anger. That I think it is better to check. And I'm guided to pick up this little book by Sarah Young, Jesus Calling. And for today, we read for the 17th of February. I am the risen one who shines upon you always. You worship a living deity, not some idolatrous man-made image. Your relationship with me is meant to be vibrant and challenging. As I invade more and more areas of your life, do not fear change, for I am making you a new creation, with old things passing away and new things continually on the horizon. When you cling to old ways and sameness, you resist my work within you. I want you to embrace all that I am doing in your life, finding your security in me alone. It is easy to make an idol out of routine, finding security within the boundaries you build around your life. Although each day contains 24 hours, every single one presents a unique set of circumstances. Don't try to force fit today into yesterday's mold. Instead, ask me to open your eyes so that you can find all I have prepared for you in this precious day of life. Those words were really speaking to my heart and I pray they were speaking to yours because they're channeled messages from Jesus to Sarah Young, and they are really beautiful. Let us now come to our evening intercessions. But let us first be still. And if anything is troubling you, <clears throat> or you're worried or anxious or afraid about something, name it, bless it, and release it to God in a mindset of gratitude and the key words, thank God, keep thanking God for releasing whatever from you so that you're free to go about your father, mother, God's will for your life. 
And now we read from the prayers for this evening. Father, Mother, God, Christ prayed that we be forgiven through his passion. As you accepted him, accept his prayer for all who are hurting right now. Father, Mother, God, into your hands I commend my spirit. Through his beloved disciple, Jesus gave Mary to be our mother. With her we pray to you for all her children of all faiths and none. Response, Father, Mother, God, into your hands I commend my spirit. Father, Mother, God, heed the anguish of those who cry out to you with your Son. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Help us to hear the cry I thirst. Help us to see your Son, even in the least of his brothers and sisters. Responds, Father, Mother, God, into your hands I commend my spirit. To the man dying with him, Jesus said, Truly I say to you, this day you will be with me in paradise. Father, Mother, God, let these words be heard again by those who die tonight. Response, Father, Mother, God, into your hands I commend my spirit. And from our Jewish tradition, we pray for those bereaved of their loved ones by war or violence. We pray for people who have lost home, work, health and hope. We pray for disabled people and those who are deprived of medical help available elsewhere. We pray for economies wounded and left derelict by war. We pray for individuals and organisations devoted to relieving distress and deprivation, the redeployment of resources towards peace. <clears throat> and this evening we pray especially for each one of you and for the brothers and sisters of our community, our online community, where we dedicate our life, our every breath, for interspiritual unity with the children of God the God of many names, will come together and celebrate their diversity, their belief and their love of a Creator Father Mother God who called them by name to come, break bread together and to celebrate God's love in their heart. We prayed this evening for Sister Jane whose energy is holding its own and she's absolutely over the moon that her energy levels have stayed static. So we pray that they increase and that Jane will be able to experience the fullness of God's vision for her. For Brother Liam, who's here, we pray that his ministry to the homeless will touch many hearts and fill them with hope for dear brother Matthew in Texas who's now with his mom who's dying in a hospice there that this will be a special time for the two of them and we celebrate his mom's life who has given her life to caring for others for the dying as well as for the living and we pray for Matthew's wife and children, but we pray for Brother Brian, who's continuing to be on a high from his experience the other day where he helped two homeless people, a couple. And they were so grateful for the little gifts he gave them. For Sister Jackie in Idaho and her family. For dear Nancy in Mexico and her wonderful son Mark who's been struggling. We remember dear Miriam in New Zealand. We remember Eleanor and Elizabeth in Philadelphia, Teresa in Manchester, Mother Olivia in Grange, not far from here with Brother Murray, and of course dear Brother Rob, Brother Paul, and of course Paul's 
former wife, Jackie, and their children. We pray for the many who've come and gone. And we pray that the Lord God will continually bring to our community those who are willing to stay the course and live that simple life from their own monastery without walls, their home. We pray for global peace, especially in the Middle East, and for our brothers and sisters in Syria, where many have lost everything. And we pray <clears throat> for the members of the Baha'i faith who've been imprisoned because of their belief in Iran. There are 12 that I've known of for, for two, three years now who've been imprisoned because of their faith. And of course, Sister Jane shared with us two nights ago that four have been threatened and bullied and beaten and incarcerated with the 12. We pray for an end to discrimination on grounds of ethnicity, color, creed, belief, politics, and gender orientation. We pray for the whole family of God this night who are hurting, who feel estranged from their church or their belief, who've been judged unfairly by those who should know better. We pray this evening for God's inner peace to come upon us all especially the poor farmers, where many of them are delivering lambs born dead and disfigured due to this awful virus that's now sweeping the United Kingdom. We pray for them in their despair and their hopelessness. Let us be still now. And if I've forgotten anybody this evening, oh, Brother Eric in Sweden, whose sister Eva had a successful heart operation yesterday, we remember her. And Teresa's mom, who's developed sciatica. I think that's it. So we hand the rest over to God. Let's just be still. closing prayer this evening I've just opened it at random by Mark Tilly broadcaster and correspondent from India cast thy bread upon the waters <clears throat> excuse me for thou shalt find it after many days give a portion to seven and also to eight for thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth if the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the trees fall toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand. For thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. And then we've got from the Bhagavita. In liberty from the bonds of attachment, do thou therefore the work to be done. For the man whose work is pure attains indeed the supreme. And from Archbishop Desmond Tutu Emeritus, we read, God bless Africa, guard her children, guide her leaders, and give her peace for Jesus' sake. Amen. Oh, wow. So now go in peace to love and to serve our God. And the blessing of Christ, 
and all the great spiritual teachers be upon you this night. And may the Lord Christ, our physician, touch those hearts that feel estranged from his love, and especially to Brother Matthew and his mom, who need our prayers right now. May the Lord bless them and protect them. Amen. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo de Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of all that is sacred to you reign supreme in your heart. I wish you all a peace filled evening. And I look forward to your company again soon. And tomorrow morning, our morning prayers will be led by our dear sister Elaine from Peter Lee in Durham. I hope you can join her. But for now, take care. And Brother Liam, I pray that you have a pleasant night shift and that you'll be refreshed in the morning.